The land belong to us traditionally. Though imaginary interstate boundary is drawn and falls under Manipur state. I feel that we have been neglected for a very long time. Once I'm elected, my team will be people first. Tribe leader turned politician from Nagaland, KV Podi Sophie, opened up about his election agenda after filling his nomination from 14 Southern Angami 1 as an independent candidate. Here's what Sophie is promising his constituents if elected to power. I have my own vision. Once the power is given to me by my voters, I will give them back the power and then I'll give them freedom to choose any scheme or project to be taken up by themselves. Because the villagers, the voters, they know their need better than what I know. So I'll go by the decision of the village. As in my theme, it is said, it is mentioned that for the people. So people's first. So I'll give them power. I have been confronted with uh, so many issues, especially the so-called disputed Kezolza. The land belongs to us traditionally. Though imaginary interstate boundary is drawn and falls under Manipur state, the land still belongs to us. Here in this very issue, uh, the representative from our constituency, how far they have raised these issues in the assembly and then inform our honorable legislator, I do not know. But once, if I am elected, I will definitely project and raise this issue because this imaginary line has been drawn without the consent of the landowner. Okay. And I also see, uh, especially this, the present national highway. In the earlier stage, four lane road was proposed. And accordingly, we have submitted a memorandum to the, the then late Abdul Kalam, the president of India, to give us a four lane road. But uh, later on, we were informed that it is only sanctioned for two lane road. As to why from four lane road it has been downsized to two lane road. Skill development can be imparted to the youth and then they can also sustain by doing certain entrepreneurship or agriculture sector or tourism industry. Women folk in the rural areas most of the women folk are trying to nurture their children but the financial problem and constraint make them very hard to earn for a daily life i feel i really feel pity for the women folk who are the sole bread earner of the family instead of spending for luxury and then a, a kg of me, they save their earned money for their tomorrow's children's school fee. So here I intend to set aside some certain percentage to give them grant to the family, those who are in need. There is no uh, visible schemes or project coming up in our area we have resources we have land we have water we are ready to provide but we have been neglected for so many years that's why these are some points where i have my concern for my people once i'm elected my team will be people first don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.